Our next honoree was one of the greatest basketball players in Baylor history. It's a mouthful when you're talking about the Baylor women's program. A three-time selection to the All-Southwest Conference team and the Southwest Conference's second all-time leading scorer. Please welcome to the stage our next honoree from Baylor University, Maggie davis Dinnett. Grab a mic and have a seat. Let's chat just a little bit, Maggie, about some great days. What was your most memorable game playing at Baylor, do you think? I would think the time that I hit 46 points, but it, even though I say I remember it, you kind of hit a zone as an athlete, so you really don't remember. But I do remember that at the end of the game, we had 46 points by myself. 46 points. That's correct. How many did the team have? I have no clue. No idea. <laughs> Probably not many more. Yeah. And, and that had to be so much fun. Do you remember who it was against? No. No. 46 is a good number to That's remember, exactly. though. Um, what was the caliber of play like in the Southwest Conference in women's basketball in the 1980s? At that time, I thought it was phenomenal. But then when you watch Kim Mulkey and, and the new girls play, you're thinking, are, am I really in that league or could I really perform at this time if I play for Kim Mulkey? So I'm going to say it was good, but now they're greater. I'm going to say you could have. And I, <laughs> I, I have former athletes tell me that all the time. Oh, wow. They say, I couldn't play in today's game. You figured out a way to play yeah. when you were that age. You would have figured out a way to play now. And uh, tell us about that successful return to basketball that you had in 1991 and how that played out. Yes, sir. I took off a year and had my son, Earl Stinnett II. And to me, coming back was the culmination of, okay, you've done it. You've had a child. It's time to get back out there and do what you're supposed to do because you made a commitment to a university, and you want to honor that commitment. So it, to me, I, I had a great time, and I wanted to finish out my education as and well. And there, there weren't many women who had done that kind of thing, I guess, at that point, right? Were there any I, that you knew of? I've always been an original. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I've never gone with the grain, so. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's a great story. But what, what was the toughest place for you to play uh, in first in the Southwest Conference? I would think Texas, and it's ironic that you would pick the picture with Clarissa Davis because when you go to Texas, at that time, they were at the pinnacle of success. And even though we had probably 100 people that followed us at that time, and most of those were my family members. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, we got a few of them here today, too. That's, That's great. great. Yeah. Um, it, you would all, all you would see was a sea of orange. And you could very, you know, every now and then pick out a, a sea of green. So I think Texas probably was the hardest place to play. I would have to think that growing up, you also played uh, against, you know, some tough competition, whether it was boys or girls, men or women. Did you have that experience growing up as well? Believe it or not, I just played in the streets with brothers and sisters. Yeah. And every now and then we'd play a game. But basketball was just not something I, I ate and slept with. So It wasn't? No, sir. No. What was it? What was the sports that you were playing? If then? I had to have chosen, it would probably been basketball. But I loved volleyball and softball as well. Yeah, good for you. That's awesome. Now, you were on a Richfield High School team uh, here in Texas that yes, won, I think, two state championships and was undefeated for two straight years, that right? That's correct, yes, sir. W what was that like? Playing for Pooh Welch was phenomenal. He was a leader. He was a motivator. Uh, I had phenomenal coaches, Yolanda Washington, who has passed now. And, and Richfield had a spirit of support that matched none other in Waco, Texas. So when we played, there was a gym full of people to the rafters. So it was a phenomenal place to play. And Richfield is no more, right? It the is schools? not, but yeah. it's always in my heart. I guess so, yeah. And was it a, because you were right there in town, was it a no-brainer that you were going to? To Baylor, or were, were other schools definitely considered as a part of your your future? Could have gone anywhere in the world, probably, but Baylor is my first love. And, of course, my mom died when I was a senior in high school, so, of course, I'm taking care of my dad. So that's that was my heart. Family has always been my heart, and now Baylor is part of that family as well. Well, you're now a part so, of the family of the yeah, Southwest yeah, Conference Hall kind. of Fame. We appreciate it very, very much, Maggie. Kind. Congratulations. Thank Maggie Davis-Sinat, ladies and gentlemen.